Okay guys, so welcome to our new video. So this time, we'll solve quadratic factors. So, continuation lang naman to nung last video natin. So sorry guys, medyo natagal lang yung upload. Well anyway, so kung mapansin natin, uh, yung denominator ng ating function is nakaray sa or second degree equation or quadratic equation. In short. So paano natin yung mag-integrate ng ganito klase ng factor? So, uh, dun sa video natin, so nalimuta ko na if I was able to show you guys kung paano yung methods na, method na ginagawa dito. Pero pag ganito, ang um, general formula na gamitin natin dito ay a, which is yun nga yung hanapin natin, 2ax plus b plus b over ax squared plus bx plus c where this factor guys is the derivative of this factor. So, i-derive nyo lang naman yan. Okay? So, so, what will be our first step dito? So, mas maganda, i-derive muna natin tong denominator. So, what is the derivative of denominator? So, derivative nito is 2x plus 6. So, yun. So, if we follow this one, okay, so, yun yung transform natin to sa ganitong form. Okay, so, restriction pala, guys. Bago natin uh, i-apply itong uh, method na to, guys, always make sure na yung exponent ng numerator is less than the exponent ng denominator. Which means, dapat, ito ay, since squared to x squared, dapat ito ay first degree equation lang or x raised to 1 lang. So, lagi tatandaan nyo guys. So, bago nyo i-apply this one, or yung quadratic factor, or itong method na to, check nyo kung yung una-una, yung denominator, kung factorable ba. Kasi kung factorable yan, possible yan na repeating lang yan, or non-repeating. But, but, this time, since non-factorable yung denominator, so, pasok sa quadratic factor. Okay? So, yun pa. Second is, make sure na yung exponent ng numerator mo ay always less than the exponent of the denominator. Clear? So, sir, eh, since pantay sila, anong unang method natin or gagawin natin? So, ang gagawin natin dito, guys, i-divide muna natin to. So, let's do a synthetic division or kahit normal na division na lang. So, if we divide, so, x squared plus 6x plus 13. So, we divide nyo yan sa dito, sa 4x squared plus 21x plus 54. So, 4 yan. So, multiply nyo lang. So, 4x squared plus 24x plus so, 13 times 4, that's 52. Then, subtract. So, minus. So, alam nyo na naman yan. So, 0 na yan. So, 21x minus 24, negative 3x plus 2. So, it means, Uh, ang magiging function natin pala is if you divide this to this one yung denominator sa numerator natin ang end up natin is ito so remainder ito x squared plus 6x plus 13 so remainder pa na yan so this one so after dividing so ang end of the function natin becomes uh, integral of 4 then pwede mo i-factor out yung negative sign so, negative 3x pa. So, negative uh, So, uh, 3x minus 2. Since nilabas natin yung negative dito, so minus 2 na siya. All over, ito, x squared plus 6x plus 13. So, yun. dx of course. Ayan. So, ito yung ating resulting na function. So, kung mapansin natin ito, pag dinistribute nyo yung integral sign, tsaka yung dx, so, it becomes integral of 4dx minus the integral of 3x minus 2 over x squared plus 6x plus 13dx. So, yun. So, now, so, pwede na tayo mag-apply dito na quadratic factor. Okay? 
So, ito, okay na to. So, integral of 4x, which, which is 4 pala. 3 well, 4 is 4x. Minus, so, ito na concern natin ngayon. Itong part na to. So, ito, since okay na yan, iwan na natin yan. So, later, babalikan natin itong 4x na to. But this time, dito tayo mag-focus. So, we'll apply this concept now. Okay? Since yung power nito is less than the exponent. Okay? Of your denominator. So, this time, so, apply natin. So, derivative of your denominator, which is ito, di ba? So, sulat natin. So, this one, it transform to this function. So, hiwalay natin ito. Okay, dito na. Sige, ah... Uh, Dito lang. Ayan. Ibabalikan natin yan. So, lagyan natin ito ng ano. Ayan. Ayan. So, we'll return to this function later. Okay. So, dito tayo. So, after natin i-derive, then we transform to this type of function. So, magiging ito, it becomes, so, if you remove the integral sign, so, magiging ano siya? 3x minus 2 over x squared plus 6 x plus 13 is equal. So, equate nyo yan dito. So, copy nyo itong part na to. So, a, then derivative nito, which is 2x plus 6 plus b over x squared plus 6 x plus 13. So, nakasunod guys. So, yun. And, same lang din. So, we multiply both sides by this one. So, x squared plus 6x plus 13. So, it end up with 3x minus 2 is equals to a 2x plus 6 plus b. So, ito yung ating working equation. So, now, ang gagawin natin, we'll need to find constant a and constant b. So, flip tayo sa next page. Ayan. Tuloy tayo. So, so, ano yung working equation natin ulit? Our working equation was uh, 3x minus 2 is equals to a 2x plus 6 plus b. So, dito, we equate similar powers of x. So, ano yung pwedeng masod agad natin? So, pansin natin may x dito at may x in sa kabila. So, if we equate powers of x, so, dito, which is 3, diba? is equal, so, dito ay 2a. So, we can solve for a already, which is a is equals to 3 halves. Oh, what's next? So, we can equate constants, diba? So, ano may constant dito? Ito, constant to, diba? So, constants, which is x raised to 0. Kasi x raised to 0, or any number raised to 0 is 1, diba? So, multiply by constant, constant. So, yun. So, x raised to 0. So, dito, ano constant natin? Negative 2. Dito, constant natin is, of course, if we distribute a, so, 6a plus b. Then, we can replace a by, since na-solve natin yung a, so, naka negative 2, solve natin. So, that's 2 times 3 halves plus B. Then, simple at maano nyo lang yung algebra. So, your B is equals to negative 11. Okay. Okay, negative 11 yan. Okay now. So, since solve na natin yung A and B, so, balikan na natin. So, uh, we replace now. So, the integral of yung A, papalitan natin yung 3 halves. That is 2x plus 6. Then, yung b, papalitan mo ng 11. All over, x squared plus 6x plus 13 dx. So, ayun na. Ayun yung working integral function natin. So, next is, we distribute. So, pwede yung paghiwalay niyan sa dalawang fraction. So, yung una ay integral of 3 halves 2x plus 6 dx over x squared plus 6x plus 13 minus integral of so 11 dx over x squared plus 6x plus 13. So, ayan yung dalawang pinaghiwalay natin. And of course, ito, you can factor out the constant 
which is 3 halves. So, may yun sa loob dx over x squared, ay, sorry, yung 2x plus 6 pa pala. Plus 6x plus 13, sorry. So, ito may 2x plus 6 ka pa dyan. Ayan, sorry. Ayan, minus, so constant 11, so dx over x squared plus 6x plus 13. Of course, ang derivative, ang integral nito ay du, di ba? ln lang to. Kasi if we let u to, ayun, isa ta. Ito yung kanyang derivative. So, if we let u, x squared plus 6x plus 13, du is 2x plus 6 dx. Clear guys? So, ayun na. So, of course, 3 halves l enough. x squared plus 6x plus 13. Ito na lang problema natin. How do we integrate this one? So, if you remember, in discussion natin ng inverse functions, so we complete the squares, di ba? So, naalan yung last prop, ang mga alas examples natin. So, we complete the squares. So, by completing the squares, so this becomes, so if we complete the squares, so x squared plus 6x, di ba? That is b over 2, 6 over 2 squared. Tama? So, of course, magiging 9 yan. So, it becomes x plus 3 squared. Then, uh, ang gagawin natin, instead of adding, so subtract natin, which is 13 minus 9, that's 4, di ba? Plus 4. So, yun na siya, di ba? So, where, mapapansin natin, this is a inverse tangent or arc tangent, di ba? Where x squared is equals to x plus 3. And x, so squared niya both sides. Yeah, so, x plus 3. So, if we derive, so dx is uh, u plus 3 in any way. So, yun yung pa rin So, which means u pala to. u squared, sorry. u. So, yung u mo, du is equal to dx. So, pwede mo palitan na yun. And of course, yung a mo is 2. Diba? Square root lang ng 4. So, ayun na. So, the, the answer is 3 halves ln of x squared plus 6x plus 13. So, dapat alam nyo na ito guys. Ha? So, ba't naging form? So, di ba? Completing this. I-complete the squares lang natin. So, completing ko lang. So, uh, instead of uh, adding, so, ma-minus nyo ngayon. Okay? Makukuha nyo dito yung factor. Itong part na to. Okay? So, u yan. U. So, it becomes minus 11 over 2. Since, di ba, ang formula ng inverse tangent is 1 over a arc tangent of u over a plus c. Diba? Yung u mo, ayun, x plus 3. And a mo, yung 2. So, ayun na, arc tangent of u which is x plus 3 over 2 plus c. Tapos na ba yan? Hindi pa, di ba? So, pabalitan natin. Di ba, mayroon pa tayong minus 4. Or 4x pala, sorry, na negative. So, kakabit pa natin yan. So, our final answer will be... Ito lang. Final answer is... Ito, final answer na to. That is 4x minus... So, distribute nyo yung negative sign. So, minus 3 halves ln of x squared plus 6x plus 13 then minus 2 since since this is minus nakita nyo naman so positive na yun so plus 11 over 2 arc tangent or inverse tangent of x plus 3 over 2 plus c and this is your final answer so, so clear guys so dito very important yung procedure yun. Dapat alam na alam niyo yung previous, uh, ano natin, examples natin. Which is especially sa part na to. Ayan. Kasi swapansin natin, if we do a little magic, so yung magic natin is we complete the squares, then nag-end up siya ng inverse tangent function. Okay? So yun, that concludes our topics about uh, factors. So, so, next video natin, so, proceed tayo sa definite integral, guys. Okay? So, thank you.